What's going on guys? d here bringing you guys another man 16 defensive nano blitz and this is actually just going to be the cover 3 version of the edge sting so we have a man the man we have a cover 2 and this is going to be the cover 3 version to get this double gap pressure you see the B gap on the right and the A gap on the left now you guys already have a cover 2 out of the Sam Blitz 2 you guys have the man to man in the edge sting and now if we actually pick the SS th or the Sam 3 press guys you could actually still get that double gap so again base align you're going to re-blitz the left of the screen linebacker so your R1 or your right bumper and left on the right joystick and then what you're going to do is edge rush your defensive line just like this and the player that you're using, you can just throw him on the baby blue just like this. Hold your left trigger in and you guys are able to see again we're able to get double pressure. Now the guy, the middle linebacker that's shooting in is extremely slow for some reason. He is extremely slow. So besides the point, he would normally get in a lot faster. Like as you guys would know, you guys have probably been running this blitz a little bit now. But it's 4-3 under Sam 3 press. You just want to base a line, crash your lineman to edge rush. And then um, on the right hand side guys, here's the thing. If you guys think that you're going to get beat with the cover 3, especially to the left hand side, you guys can throw this guy on a purple and you don't need to send them. You can man him up on the running back if you're afraid of the flats. You can flat zone him per route him. You can do whatever you want. The blitz is still going to get in on the right hand side, even if I just hold my left trigger right here just like that. You guys are able to see that the blitz is still able to shoot in on the right hand side. Now it didn't come in as fast because you're not getting somebody that's running straight through the A gap. But it still can come in really fast. So this is the cover three version. Now, with the man-to-man -man version, you don't normally have this problem because everybody's manned up on the field. The cover two version, again, you shouldn't really have too much of a problem because it is completely unstoppable. Like, you can block the running back. You could side protect. It won't stop the double pressure from getting in. I mean, it'll slow it down and only allow one person to come in. But it's not going to, like, stop it to where nobody gets in at all. So... Like I was saying, you guys can purple zone that guy. You don't even have to if you don't want to. You guys can mess with the deeper coverage. But this is a way to help stop the deep ball while continuing to blitz. So we'll run it again here in slow-mo. We'll show, we'll break it down just a little bit and show you guys what you guys can do with the play to get this play in. Now, like I said, you guys want to put in your fastest players on the 4-3 under. And if you guys see... When we do Sam uh, 3 press, you want your fastest players to be in the Chad Greenway spot, and you want your fastest play player to be in the Anthony Barr spot. Now, Anthony Barr is obviously one of the faster linebackers in the game. He's going to shoot through regardless. So what I want to do is I want to keep him on the right side, and the reason behind that is because he actually normally will get in before the middle linebacker does on the A-gap. So Anthony Barr is 88, and then we have Robinson um, that we can put in here that's also pretty fast. Uh, wrong Robinson, I believe. So, yeah, Edmund Robinson, we'll put him in. And now we have extremely fast linebackers shooting through the gap. So, again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose the Sam 3 press, guys. And on the offense, we'll pick a random formation here. And all that you want to do is base a line. So, your Y or your triangle button and right on the D pad. Then what you want to do is you want to re-blitz your left of screen linebacker, so your R1 or right bumper and left on the joystick. And then what you want to do is you want to take your lineman and do an edge rush, so your L1 or your left bumper and up on the joystick, so the play looks like, like, like this. Um, I did it twice because it didn't register the right way. So edge rush will look like this. Last adjustment, you just want to take this player, Kendricks, you want to put him on a bluff blitz, so that would be A or X and right on the joystick so the play will look like this when you come into this spot right here make sure he's leaning in hold down your left trigger and you guys are able to see how quickly those two linebackers are able to shoot through not only the a gap but the b gap on the right hand side and like i was saying earlier guys you guys can do the same exact setup but you guys can put one of them on a zone it doesn't matter which one goes on the zone and either one of them can go on the zone. You guys are able to see we're able to shoot through the B gap on the right and the A gap on the left. Now, to go over how to do it without sending the people, because I know when you guys are going to be playing 
Um, you guys don't want the flat on the left hand side to be covered, especially if the running back is going on a flat round. Now, in this case, he's going on the right. So, what we'll do is just so you guys can get in the habit, we'll still send this guy, but we'll throw this guy on the baby blue to cover the running back, or we'll man him up, and then we'll bluff blitz this player, and we'll hold in our left trigger right here, and you guys are still able to see that we're able to get that A gap. So what you guys can do with this play is you guys can mess around with it. Always have one of those linebackers blitzing, always line up in that spot, always edge rush, always base a line, but make sure that you put a zone towards where the running back would be standing. So, to, to I guess make it easier, if you guys see that now the running back is on the right side, let me do this real fast. So you come out, the running back's on the right side, you have everything set up so far, and you're ready to bluff blitz. Well, if you don't want the running back to get open on the right hand side, what we can do is we can actually just throw the linebacker on the right hand side into a zone. So we're going to press our right bumper, our right bumper again, press our A or X button for Anthony Barr, and throw him in a flat zone. So that way, that side of the field's pretty much covered up. So that'll help stop the running back on the right hand side, and we're still actually able to get the A gap. So this is a play that you can run around with, you can mess around with it. Um. You can do different things like that. One of the other cooler things that you guys can do is you can actually man up the running back. Now, what this normally does, especially if the running back is blocking, is um, occasionally the guy that you're actually on will actually blitz in even with the block to running back. Now, I could be wrong in this instance because he does zone as well. But you guys are able to see right there, we blocked the running back and we we're still able to get the pressure. And we manned up our linebacker just in the case that he wasn't blocked. So, in that sense, we're always going to be getting pressure. It's always going to be unstoppable because what you'll do is you'll literally just block the running, like... If he blocks the running back, you can just man up this player on the right-hand side here, and he's going to hold the linebacker, or he's going to hold uh, the running back, and he's going to hold the lineman. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow your A-gap to shoot right through the gap, guys. So I hope this was able to help you out. I know I only had the man and the cover 2 version up, so I just wanted to get the cover 3 version up. I hope you guys don't think I'm just spamming one play because it's so great. I just want to make sure that when you guys are in game, you guys have a play that can run with the man the man. You guys can just show different coverages on the field, cover two, cover three, and just give your opponent different, the same look, but different zones and different coverages on the field. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And as always, guys, this was D Money. And I'm out. What's going on, guys? D Money here bringing you guys another Madden 16 defensive nano blitz. And this is actually just going to be the cover three version of the edge sting. So we have a man the man, we have a cover two, and this is going to be the cover three version to get this double gap pressure. You see the B gap on the right and the A gap on the left. Now, you guys already have a cover two. Out of the Sam Blitz 2, you guys have the man-to-man -man in the Edge Sting. And now if we actually pick the SS th or the Sam 3 Press, guys, you could actually still get that double gap. So again, base a line. You're going to re-blitz the left of screen linebacker. So your R1 or your right bumper and left on the right joystick. And then what you're going to do is edge rush your defensive line just like this. And the player that you're using, you can just throw him on the baby blue, just like this. Hold your left trigger in, and you guys are able to see, again, we're able to get double pressure. Now, the guy, the middle linebacker that's shooting in is extremely slow for some reason. He is extremely slow. So, besides the point, he would normally get in a lot faster. Like, as you guys would know, you guys have probably been running the splits a little bit now. But it's 4-3 under, Sam 3 press. You just want to base a line, crash your lineman to edge rush. And then, um, on the right-hand side, guys, here's the thing. If you guys think that you're going to get beat with the cover 3, especially to the left-hand side, you guys can throw this guy on a purple and you don't need to send them. You can man him up on the running back if you're afraid of the flats. You can flat zone him. 
Purple Rotom, you can do whatever you want. The Blitz is still going to get in on the right-hand side, even if I just hold my left trigger right here, just like that. You guys are able to see that the Blitz is still able to shoot in on the right-hand side. Now, it didn't come in as fast because you're not getting something that's running straight through the A-gap, but it still can come in really fast. So this is the Cover 3 version. Now, with the man-to-man -man version, you don't normally have this problem because everybody's manned up on the field. The Cover 2 version... Again, you shouldn't really have too much of a problem because it is completely unstoppable. Like, you can block the running back. You can slide protect. It won't stop the double pressure from getting in. I mean, it'll slow it down and only allow one person to come in. But it's not going to, like, stop it to where nobody gets in at all. So, like I was saying, you guys can purple zone that guy. You don't even have to if you don't want to. You guys can mess with the deeper coverage. But this is a way to help stop the deep ball while continuing to blitz so we'll run it again here in slow-mo we'll show we'll break it down just a little bit and show you guys what you guys can do with the play to get this play in now like i said you guys want to put in your fastest players on the four three under and if you guys see when we do Sam uh, 3 press, you want your fastest players to be in the Chad Greenway spot, and you want your fastest play player to be in the Anthony Barr spot. Now, Anthony Barr is obviously one of the faster linebackers in the game. He's going to shoot through regardless. So what I want to do is I want to keep him on the right side, and the reason behind that is because he actually normally will get in before the middle linebacker does on the A-gap. So Anthony Barr is 88, and then we have Robinson um, that we can put in here that's also pretty fast. Uh, wrong Robinson, I believe. So, yeah, Edmund Robinson, we'll put him in. And now we have extremely fast linebackers shooting through the gap. So, again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose the Sam right and the A gap on the left. Now, to go over how to do it without sending the people, because I know when you guys are going to be playing, um, you guys are going to want the flat on the left hand side to be covered especially if the running back is going on a flat route now in this case he's going on the right so what we'll do is just so you guys can get in the habit we'll still send this guy but we'll throw this guy on the baby blue to cover the running back or we'll man him up and then we'll bluff blitz this player and we'll hold in our left trigger right here and you guys are still able to see that we're able to get that a gap so what you guys can do with this play is you guys can mess around with it. Always have one of those linebackers blitzing. Always line up in that spot. Always edge rush. Always base a line. But make sure that you put a zone towards where the running back would be standing. So, to, to I guess make it easier, if you guys see that now the running back is on the right side. Let me do this real fast. So you come out. The running back's on the right side. You have everything set up so far and you're ready to bluff blitz three press guys and on the offense we'll pick a random formation here and all that you want to do is base a line so your y or your triangle button and right on the d-pad then what you want to do is you want to re-blitz your left of screen linebacker so your r1 or right bumper and left on the joystick and then what you want to do is you want to take your lineman and do an edge rush. So your L1 or your left bumper and up on the joystick. So the play looks like, like, like this. Um, I did it twice because it didn't register the right way. So edge rush will look like this. Last adjustment, you just want to take this player, Kendricks. You want to put him on a bluff blitz. So that would be A or X and right on the joystick. So the play will look like this. When you come into this spot right here, make sure he's leaning in. Hold down your left trigger, and you guys are able to see how quickly those two linebackers are able to shoot through not only the A gap, but the B gap on the right-hand side. And like I was saying earlier, guys, you guys can do the same exact setup, but you guys can put one of them on a zone. It doesn't matter which one goes on the zone, and either one of them can go on the zone. You guys are able to, see, we're able to shoot through the B gap on the right.